Hey guys, for today's video, we're going to be doing a backcombed foil with a root shadow for this cute blended blonde. Some of you have asked and you can follow me on Instagram at Christy at the cottage. Here's my clients before I forgot to get a video at our station. We're going to be doing a clear fine treatment before we start right her hair so we're going to use the brazilian blowout number one just because this is really good at like clarifying the hair pulling out color and she just has a little bit of built up from like purple shampoo and i know that her hair is a little fragile so i don't want to bleach through the ends too much so i want to try and clear it out clarify it out as much as possible so we're going to spray this on her hair and let this sit for just a few minutes and you can see that it almost immediately like brightens it up and then once we do this we're going to do a few treatments on her hair with olaplex and a keratin restore mask and she's going to sit under the dryer for maybe like 15 minutes and i'm using my schwartz cough blonde me with 20 volume for the service Hey guys, so for today we're going to be doing my coworker's hair. There's no one else in the salon. That's why I kind of look extra beautiful. And so um, we started off doing like a clarifier in her hair just to get rid of any of that buildup to try to brighten up her blonde again, just because I wanna to try to eliminate having to run the bleach through the ends as much as possible. Um, and then we just did like a heavy Olaplex treatment to help try and build it up, you know, before the service. So right now we are going to mix for lightening her hair. We're going to be doing like a backcombed foliage, um, just to kind of blend her roots a little bit more since we do go a little bit longer in between. I did her hair in a video before, I think it was like, wow, while we're on quarantine, I think it was like May or something like that. So that's how long it's been since we've done her hair and her hair is actually really naturally very dark. It's probably like a level four, three or four or something like that. So we're going to mix and she did before have some dark color on her hair that we have been working on over the last year of like removing and trying to break through. So she does have some like orange warmy areas down in here. So I'm going to try to lift through that today and see how bright we can get her. This is the lovely Madison. We work together. We're like the only people in the salon doing our hair and we trade services. So anyways, I know that I look like a hot mess and I don't wanna see it in the comments, okay? <laughs> anyways, um, to start her hair, she has some grays that she wants to blend. So we're going to be doing it a little bit heavier, like around her hairline that way we try to blend the grays as much as possible and brighten her up a little bit extra around her face that way it grows out a little bit more softer and you don't notice it as much so we're going to be doing probably to the back of her ear we're going to be doing some vertical foils and then we will repeat that on the other side And you can see here that I did probably like eight to 10 foils in this area. And normally I only do like two or three directly on the hairline, but because we're actually doing more of like a full color, I just wanted to like get as much as I can 
towards the back section of her hair. So now we're going to be starting the other side. You can see that the weaves are very, very fine. They're almost kind of like baby lights. The very first few right on the hairline. I don't want them to be like super heavy or harsh lines or any slices. Just really, really fine weaves. And this will help her hair to grow out nice and soft without having any like harsh lines. And because her hair has been kind of lightened a lot in the past, I'm being extra cautious just to run the bleach to the line of demarcation and not to really run it through the ends. But if there's an area where her hair is a little bit more brassy, then I will kind of swipe just slightly over that area just to kind of brighten it up a little bit more.
So you can see here that for how far back we are behind the ear, if I was going to do like the full back area, I would only have to do like two foil sections up the back section of the hair, but we're not going to do a full back section today, but I just wanted to make sure that I did enough to make sure she feels bright to eliminate as much of the grow out um, just doing like a half or partial foil. So now that we have the back section done, we're going to go through and do right on her hairline for like her money piece area and I'm going to cut this section in half too instead of going straight down the mohawk area. I want to make sure that it connects like all the way around her hairline. So that's why I want to do like half on the right side and half of the left side of her forehead to make sure that there's no like dark holes or any dark hairs that I miss directly where her hairline is. Now we'll just finish this up on the other side. Be really cautious, especially directly on the hairline. These hairs are so fine and fragile. Just be very careful not to run the lightener through the ends at all. You really need to be careful not to damage the hair. Now that we're in the back area, I'm going just below the crown of her head. That way she still has full coverage, but we're not doing like, again, a full foil. So I'm just doing like a fine weave and I'm gonna back comb it and then place the foil in. Make sure you're pushing all of that hair to create a little bit of a cushion. And this will kind of softly give it a little bit of a root, like, maybe a quarter inch of a natural root, but then because it's back combed, it will also really softly blend in with the rest of her hair. So you're not really going to see that you didn't go directly up to the scalp. It will just like softly blend out. And for every section, I'm going to be doing a very fine weave back comb it. And then directly on top of that, I'm not going to be doing a subsection. I'm just going to be doing a straight slice and back comb that and then repeat weave, slice, weave, slice. 
with no subsections in between. So essentially the only hair that she's having out is what's being weaved and back combed out for the weave sections. Now that we're up in the top area of her hair, I'm doing even finer sections, a lot thinner, finer baby lights and weaves. I want to make sure that this blends perfectly and really nicely so that way there's no lines in the hair and it blends the grow out a lot better. So where her part falls, I'm going to be doing some thinner, finer sections, but after we move on from the part, then I'll be doing like back to regular size weaves and slices. I just want to make sure that wherever she parts her hair, it doesn't have like a dark hole because I either weave too much there or back combed or whatever. So I'm just making sure to take finer sections. That way she gets better coverage where her hair parts. As we work our way across the top of the head, I'm still doing it not like straight down the mohawk section. I'm kind of going like a halo around her head and this is going to help eliminate lines in the hair. If you have clients that want to foil but they don't want to see like any streaks in the hair or any lines in the hair at all, then go around the hair and foil this way because this is just going to help the hair blend like on top of each other so when you do a weave or a slice the hair is just gonna like stack up and lay on top of each other and it's gonna have like a really nice blend of some more of like a blended blonde or like a brighter blonde but you're not gonna see the lines because they're you know falling on top of each other and then also because we have the hairline foil that we're doing like as if it were down her mohawk section um if she ever pulls her hair back you're not going to see those lines in her hair just because that front section will help blend it out
So you can see how packed in there we're getting all these foils. We have quite a few as we're working our way around the head. And then we will go and finish the other side just the same way. And now that we're in the back, we're gonna connect the two and work our way up the back section and just put a few foils in there and let this process for probably like 20 minutes. I'll come back and check her hair. I had been refreshing the bleach pretty often, probably like every 30 minutes or so. That way it stays nice and fresh and we get lots of lift out of it and it doesn't die down and slow down the lighting, lightning process in these back sections. So if that's something that you ever need to do when you have like a large foil to do, don't mix like three scoops of bleach and do like a huge bowl of bleach because you have a lot of hair because that bleach is going to die down a lot faster. More so go through and do like just your one scoop, utilize that and then just keep refilling your bowls. That way you're keeping your bleach nice and fresh. That way you'll get like a faster lift and it will be more even and less brassy. Now that we have the top section done, when we did her hair last time because we were breaking through a lot of darkness of like actual color that was color colored her hair dark. So we have a lot of brassiness and warm tones that we still have to lift through. So I'm just going to go through, especially just down in this back section underneath where it's still quite yellow. I'm just going to find whatever yellow tones there are and just try to bleach through, through those areas as much as I can.
Now that her hair is almost done processing, we still want to try and get her ends a little bit brighter, but we need to do it safely because we don't want her hair to damage. So I'm just taking this old bleach that's already been sitting for quite a while, so it doesn't really have any strength left. And I'm just gonna swipe this through the ends just to like bust out that overtone that's in there from like purple shampoo, or if there's any yellow tones, just run some lightener through the very end and that should help lift through that warmth just like the last five minutes of the processing time. You can see that her hair is naturally very dark, so she still has a lot of warmth in her hair. So we're gonna have to tone to try to eliminate that brassiness as much as we can. Well, I just got sugared, so that's why I'm red and I wasn't even thinking that I'm gonna have to record. I just didn't think. So that's why my face looks weird. Um, anyways, so we're about to tone Madison's hair and our goal is to be like brighter blonde. So we're gonna do t like mostly 10 PA, um, probably like quarter ounce 9 PA and a quarter ounce 9 V. So we're gonna mix for that. Okay, so Madison just toned for her brighter blonde and now we're gonna go through and do like her root shadow or just kind of tone her roots down a little bit. What I'm thinking I'm going to use is some of the Schwarzkopf because I really like how, sorry, I'm grabbing stuff. Um, I really like how the Schwarzkopf really, it really tones down brassiness. Um, where I feel like some other tones just kind of neutralize it a little bit, where this actually like really kills the brassiness and actually goes nice and ashy. So um, I'm going to use 811 and I'm probably gonna do half and half. So half 811 and then, actually never mind. I was thinking I was gonna go through with like maybe some seven natural, but I don't have that. I only have seven ash. So um, I wanted to add some natural just to like kind of soften it so it doesn't grab too much on the ashier side. But since I don't have that um, natural, I'm just gonna go through with the straight 811. For her root shadow, I pulled aside her hairline pieces and like around her ears and everything. And I just kind of like squirted it on her root area and let it sit in the root area for the most part, but then kind of like blended it through the ends just to kind of neutralize that and cool it down a little bit more towards the very last few minutes. And I let that sit for maybe like 10 minutes or so. I wasn't like too precise. I just wanted it to have a nice blend and just tone down her roots just softly. So you can see here that it just kind of gave it a little bit of a soft shadow, but still, you know, she has that dimension and it just kind of added that extra coolness to her ends just by letting it sit for the last few minutes. So 
So you can see a little bit better here how she just has a very soft hint of a root shadow, but then it blends from that little cushion that we did from back combing. So it's not too harsh of like a heavy line from having that cushion in there where we back combed. And you can see that it blends really nicely in her root area, but still has soft dimension at the roots. So much better of it. Work it. I love it so much. I think we got lighter than last time. Yes, 100%. Yeah, because look at like right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bitch. Which is good because now there's like still dimension in it. Mm -hmm. Here's her hair, super brassy and warm at the roots. Definitely wanted to try and get it nice and bright this time, a little bit lighter than what we did last time. And here's her after. It just has a really soft root and just has a soft shadow that blends nicely through the rest of her hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.